historic center of Lima. Although severely damaged by earthquakes, the city of the kings was, until the middle of the 18th century, the capital and most important city of the Spanish dominions in South America. Many of its buildings, such as the Convent of San Francisco, the largest of its type in this part of the world, are the result of collaboration between local craftspeople and others from the old world. The historic center of Lima, known as the Ciudad de los Reyes, City of Kings, is located in the Ramoc Valley, and was founded by Spanish conqueror Francisco Pizarro in January 1535 on the territories led by the chiefdom of Ramoc. Lima was the political, administrative, religious and economic capital of the Viceroyalty of Peru and the most important city of the Spanish dominions in South America. The city played a leading role in the history of the New World from 1542 to the 18th century when the creation of the Viceroyalties of New Granada, 1718, and of La Plata, 1777, gradually put an end to the omnipotence of the oldest Spanish colony on South America. The evangelization process brought several religious orders by the end of the 16th century. They gained great recognition which translated into the construction of many churches and convents of great extension and sophistication. Also, hospitals, schools and universities were built. San Marcos University was built in 1551. The city's social and cultural life was organized within these places, thus giving the historic center a convent image which characterized the urban profile of the city until half of the 20th century. There, top-level artistic creation and production took place and influenced most regions in South America. The demographic change, from the colonial city to today, explains the serious modifications to the urban landscape. Scan trace of the historic center of Lima can be seen in the present metropolitan area, with the exception of a few remarkable ensembles, the Plaza de Armas, with the Cathedral, Sagrario Chapel, Archbishop's Palace, the Plaza de la Vera Cruz with Santo Domingo, and especially the monumental complex of the Convent of San Francisco. Although urban development in the 20th century, the construction of the Avenida Abanque in 1940, has whittled away at this immense domain, San Francisco still presents an ensemble of convent buildings that is remarkable for its surface area, its coherence, the beauty of the architecture and the richness of interior decorations. Many of the public works built during the Viceroyalty period are important historic monuments today, such as the Bridge of Stone over the Rumac River, the Paseo de Aguas, the Alameda de los Descalzos and the Plaza de Tros de Hacho located in the current district of Ramoc, and the General Cemetery, currently called Presbytero Moshes Maestro. In the 17th century, the city was surrounded by walls until 1870. During this period, Lima's architecture changed due to several strong earthquakes in 1586, 1687 and 1746. Therefore, buildings were stabilized with adobe and bricks on the first floor and quinca, used during pre-Hispanic times, on the second, thus improving structural behavior during earthquakes. Civil architecture was characterized by facades, hallways, patios and particularly closed in box, balconies, which slightly varied in style and type during the Republican period, until the end of the 19th century when urban modernization started and new architectonic European-oriented styles, were introduced. The historic monuments, religious or public buildings, such as the Tuartegal Palace, which lie within the perimeter of the World Heritage Site date from the 17th and 18th centuries and are typical examples of Hispano-American Baroque. The architecture of the other buildings is often representative of the same period. Thus, despite the addition of certain 19th century constructions, such as Casu current in the Art Nouveau style, to the old urban fabric, the historic nucleus of the town recalls Lima at the time of the Spanish Kingdom of Peru. The authenticity of the historic center of Lima is intact as it largely preserves the original features of its urban foundation design, as a checkerboard, and the expansion area from the 16th to the 19th century, including old pre-Hispanic paths heading north, Chinchesao, and east, Antijao. Public, private and religious buildings generally preserve their architectural, 
technological, typological, aesthetic, historic and urban values, which are a result of the implantation of European styles from different stages of the city's historic evolution process from the 16th to the 20th century. These buildings also adapted to the regional environment in terms of availability of materials, weather, earthquakes and society requirements. Likewise, the use, functions and traditions related to the city's life grant the historic center its own character, singularity and identity. It represents a unique and unrepeatable expression of a regional cultural process, notwithstanding the earthquakes, real estate speculation and informal commerce, among other aspects. However, the conditions of authenticity are threatened by inappropriate interventions which will need to be controlled through the enforcement of precise regulations and guidelines.